Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trigger an Azure function with the blob trigger and that is an input binding to process the Excel file from the Azure blob storage. This is part of the implement Azure functions under the AZ204 certification and we're going to take a look at how the input binding works with the blob trigger. Come, let's dive in. So I have logged in to my Azure portal and I'm going to clean up a few things. So we have an account called Azure AZ204 storage demo and inside that there's a container and inside the demo protected container there are already three files which we saw in the previous videos. I'm going to clean up everything. Right now this container has nothing to do with it, right? It doesn't have any file. So what we are going to see in this video is when you upload something here, I'll show you how the block trigger gets triggered automatically. So so under the solution, we have two projects. One is the Azure function demo and one is the API. So if you go under the function demo, there's something called blob trigger function. So we have seen already how to create functions. Basically, this is the function and we have a, a attribute called blob trigger. This, what, this is what it determines, what kind of uh, function this is. So for the Azure blob trigger, the requirement is it should have a container name, a connection, and then once you have these two configured, it whenever a, a, a file is uploaded to the blob, the blob, this function gets triggered and it comes with the blob itself as a stream. Okay, and then it comes with the, the, the file name of the blob which was stored in the container. Now that's it, very simple, right? So we, we are gonna use a couple of logic here to go through and read the file. Okay, so basically what this like I said, like what it does is either someone uploads directly on the portal or through application, which I'm going to show you both the example in this demo. Whenever this happens, whenever this function is running in the portal, right now it is running from the local, it's connected to the portal, but I'm just showing you because you cannot do a debugging on the portal. So I'm going to run this from my local. And uh, once this happens, this block gets triggered. And what we are going to do is based on the file name, we're going to find what kind of file is that. If it is an XLS or an XLSX file, then we will process it because we have a logic for it. Any other files uploaded in the container is going to be ignored. Okay. For that, we have EP plus package that supports the Excel processing. And then we have other packages that supports the Azure storage blob function. Now, having said this, this is the uh, simple logic. Basically, we open up uh, using uh, con constants and then based on this uh, using class we will generate uh, we will read the file the worksheet of the excel file that is coming in and I'm expecting a few columns and let me open and show you what kind of columns it has see it has uh, much three six columns so basically I'm assuming a file is uh, uploaded in this format and if the format data is correct I'm going to read it and process it. Now let's upload and show you what happens. You can upload through the API also, but let's keep it simple. Let's go to portal and see how it works. Okay. The project is running. I'm going to upload the file here directly and then I will show you what it, how it works. Let's, let's keep a breakpoint here. So, but before that, where is this container name and the Azure web job storage connections thing coming from? So if we go to local.settings.json, in the project you can see this is coming from here so we need to configure the container name here the container name that we are going to use is the demo dash protected and then the azure uh, the connection string right so let's delete the existing connection string let's go back to the portal go to the account under the security we have something called access keys go take this connection string and let's copy this connection string here Okay, remember when we deploy this Azure function, these connection strings are configured under the configuration section of the Azure function itself. So do not get confused that we are, we are exposing all these things. This is only for our demo purpose. Okay, uh, I'll show you in a separate video how to protect everything from the configuration. Now the application is running. Both of the applications started running and uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, use the portal first. So if I go to the account under the uh, containers go to the uh, demo protected container uh, it's in the fourth all right so let's click on it let's upload the file here okay the valid file so i'm going to choose the file from my local i choose it click on upload it's uploaded right now the application is running you can see it gets triggered automatically i didn't do anything you can do the same thing from your local 
it, it gets triggered because it knows that there was a blob uploaded in the in the container and this is an input binding of this function right so this function got triggered so this function is going to go through a piece of logic and then it will process the excel see excel has some data right you saw only one data so it's going to take it from the second row and then we are getting some numbers so we have all these things and then blah 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 we're going to leave this logic here because you do whatever you wanted to do with this logic basically our intention of this video is to see how the blob trigger gets triggered when you do an upload of a file or anything in the container right so that's the whole idea of this example so if i upload something else what happens again it gets triggered this time this file is not an xls file so it should go outside of this container see it goes just locks it now i'll show you something interesting okay we can do the same thing using the api upload also so in the previous video we show how to upload files to the container and i'm going to use that and i'm going to keep this log a little big and then the this one is small so you see both happening at the same time okay now let's go to the api and let's pick up any file that goes and uploads to the same container now i upload it you can see down it's processing now api is done it uploaded it processed you can see after finishing upload within a second or something this one gets triggered and uh, you know you can see the logs coming up on the screen see after it is finished you can see uh, the file name coming here so i'm going to click again execute and you see this two three times it came because we clicked a couple of times right see this is the because um you know whenever you upload the file the input one so let's refresh this we can see how many was uploaded see we uploaded three things two times the image and then one excel file so basically uh you know the implement assure function uh, is very important one so if you go to this study guide of this az204 this is what the first one is already covered in our channel the second one is the one that we are talking about and uh, implement input and all these a uh, third one timer uh, which is the timer one uh, the http trigger all these things are covered and if you're preparing for this exam come here and i will give you the links of the video of these each topic even the durable function is covered so the complete azure az uh, 204 function topics are covered now and uh, i hope you like this video give me a thumbs up if you like it and share this video and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon